Right, welcome back. This is my third video on how to change the brake lines on a Honda VFR 750. Uh, the first video I showed you how to ha actually change the uh, brake lines. Unfortunately, we had a problem with the master cylinder, so I've shown you how to uh, remove that from the bike and disassemble it. Now we're going to reassemble that master cylinder, put it back on the bike and hopefully that will be the end of our braking problems. Uh, this is the little kit I bought, it was available from WeMoto, which is an online motorcycle accessory shop. Cost £12.60 with the delivery and it only took one day to be delivered. So we'll open this up and get on with the job. Right, so this is our little kit, uh, it's not really big. Alright, so inside the box, we have all, all the bits we need. We've got our rubber dust seal, our spring, our circlip or snap ring, piston, and our washer. First thing we need to do is just get some brake fluid. Now we need to soak the piston in the brake fluid for around about 10 minutes. Okay, this is our master cylinder and uh, I've given it all a good clean inside and out so uh, it's looking like new. Um, I don't know if you remember last time I told you to uh, take the piston and everything out of the master cylinder and to be careful because you need to put everything back in exactly the same way. Alright, it's pretty easy anyway, it's just a piston and a spring uh, with a with a circlip on. Okay, so the first thing we do, we get our new piston out of the brake fluid after it's been soaking for uh, about 10 minutes. Okay, we attach our spring. And then we slide it into the master cylinder housing. Okay, it's a little bit stiff, so what we'll do is take a bit of the old brake fluid and just drop it inside. So what we don't want to do is push the new master cylinder in, uh, the new piston in the master cylinder and cause those new rubbers to sort of buckle up on themselves. So we'll go a bit gentle, push it in slowly, and then hopefully everything will be fine. Again, it's catching a little bit. So we'll just drop a little bit more brake fluid inside. just to give it a bit more lubrication. There we 
go. Once it's in, just work it in and out a little bit, just to make those make sure those rubbers are not catching. Next, we need to put our um, new circlip in to hold everything in place. Just make sure your circlip or snap ring is seated properly. There we go, and there we have it. New brake brake master cylinder piston. And there's no movement on there at all, it fits nice and tight. Next up is our rubber seal and um, just double check make sure your pistons nice and tight and working correctly and then on goes the rubber seal takes a bit of fiddling to get it in And just gently use the screwdriver make sure the pistons seated down into the hole right with everything back in place and working correctly and double checked make sure everything is is fitted properly and in the right place uh, it's time to put the master cylinder back onto the bike all right so we have our master cylinder and our clamp handlebar clamp So first of all, I'm just going to put a bit of copper grease onto the bolt. You'll notice with the clamp for the master cylinder, it actually tells you which way up it's going to go, as indicated by an arrow and the word up. A bit self-explanatory that way. Okay, just uh, put the handbars back up into uh, this position because then you can see if your master cylinder is level. And we just need our 8mm socket just to tighten these up. Now it's worth mentioning that when you're tightening these up, as you can see I've done them by hand to make sure there's no cross threads and I don't over tighten them. And also, do the bottom bolt up first and then the top because if you do the top bolt first and then try and clamp the master cylinder to the handlebars with the bottom bolt you can end up splitting the bracket and damaging your bracket and your master cylinder so we want to avoid this from happening so bottom bolt first top bolt second There we go, master cylinder fitted. And don't over tighten these bolts because if you crank down on them, then you're definitely gonna break something. So as long as they're nice and hand tight with the, with the wrench, they'll be fine. Next up, we'll connect our brake lines and the banjo and bolt. if you remember, it's copper washer through one hose. Another copper washer. Then your second hose, and then your third copper washer.
and then obviously screw it back into the master cylinder. Right, with everything done up by hand to again make sure we haven't got any cross threads, we just need to tighten everything up with our socket and torque the bolt again. What we're going to do next is refit the brake lever. We just put a tad of uh, copper grease on as well. Stops everything seizing up. Then we have our little lock nut. Okay, with everything uh, retightened, we now have our functioning brake lever. All that's left to do now is top up our master cylinder with dot four brake fluid and then bleed the system.